Hi everyone, welcome to another one of our daily forecast videos here on YouTube. Um, obviously, I'm going to go through Euro, Dollar and Gold because we currently have two very interesting situations going on um, on those couple of instruments. I'm going to show you what we're looking for, uh, what are the key levels, you know, uh, potential trade setups, entries, different ways of trading. Uh, you know certain setups and so on so make sure to uh, watch this video until the end don't forget to comment below this video as well as you still have the chance to win a full forex training which is worth over um, thousand euros it includes seven courses uh, you know you get 14 hours of mentoring and you also get a one year subscription for free to our um, pro telegram channel where we send out each and every trade this is not the only prize that you can win you can obviously win a course of your choice um, or you can win a one year subscription to our closed telegram as well so like I said, like this video, subscribe to this channel um, and leave your comment in the comment section down below. Now let's head over to the charts. So starting off with Euro dollar, what we see here is price leaving a long wick to the downside um, in the last couple of hours. Um, and so we want to zoom out a bit. We want to go to a higher time frame and we want to see where is price currently because like I've mentioned in the last couple of videos, uh, we do expect to see a reversal pretty soon. However, um, it is way too early yet to enter a long trade. We haven't yet seen that reversal and price is still going to the downside. Okay, so looking at the weekly time frame, we're currently testing the 61.8 retracement level of this uh, previous move that we had. Okay, now, like I said, although we are expecting to see price reversing back to the upside, uh, you know, at any moment, we're still not looking for long opportunities. There's no point to do that because price is currently falling down. Therefore, we should in fact look for selling opportunities. Now, the next level that I expect to see uh, price reaching would be around 1.22 um, as we've had some previous structure here uh, You can see that on a daily time frame But what I wanted to say is I think I talked about um, here this situation on euro dollar where a lot of people thought that price won't go below the lows the monthly lows here and you see since price reached those lows it then fell down with another 1800 pips OK, so what I'm saying is we have to see that reversal happening in order to start looking for long opportunities because, you know, just because we're expecting that price cannot fall anymore. You see that, um, you know, it could happen and there is no limit of where the market can go in either direction. Same happened with oil last last year. Price went below the zero. OK, that hasn't happened before, but you see everything is possible. So, like I said, uh, what we're looking for is a uh, downside continuation as of right now. And I think in order for this move to continue lower, we shouldn't see price breaking above uh, this structure, which is pretty much the uh, 1.1325 level. I think what's going to happen is we'll probably see price coming around um, up around here and it will then reverse reaching the 1. 20, 1 point 12 20 level excuse me once it comes down here uh, we then want to see what will happen next because uh, looking at the daily time frame right we've got this previous structure that's where price is currently so I don't think we should I mean if we see market breaking below this level here at 1.1160 well then I'm gonna be expecting a downside continuation if we don't break below though and we see market reaction, um, you know, in between 1.1220 level and current price levels. Well, then I'm going to be expecting to see that reversal happening. So, you know, by the end of the day, if we see market breaking above this candle right here, possibly reaching the levels of around 1.13, uh, you know, 80, um, well, then we can start looking for this possible reversal because at this point we would have you know a daily candle uh, reversal candle from a level so it will be a strong confirmation that we're possibly seeing this reversal uh, happening however 
um, I think in the next couple of videos um, if that doesn't happen you know this week probably in the next couple of videos uh, or next week we will see that reversal and if you're following those videos uh, you know you'll see how we spot that reversal um, after such a long-term move uh, that has been going on for a while now okay because as soon as we spot this reversal I'll let you know so you can then take advantage and obviously make some profits alongside us okay so if you are trading on the lower time frames what you can do is you know you can wait for price to start reversing right around current price levels because we're currently almost testing the uh, you know uh, previous structure right here so I would expect for price to come and retest that structure um, and you can then get involved with just a short stop loss um, and anticipate the next move to the downside okay however if you are a swing trader or more of a long-term trader uh, we will have to wait for that reversal happening because uh, if you're trading on the hourly or the four hour time frames there's no point to you know enter a short trade now um, it's just the risk to reward ratio isn't great okay so as soon as we see that reversal here i'll let you know and we will see uh, what potential trades we could take um, in such market conditions and then moving on to the next instrument that we're going to see this is gold um, now what happened recently was price broke outside of this ascending trend line and it's something that we expected to see anyway okay i've been mentioning that we're going to see uh you know a pullback as soon as price reaches the 1880 1870 level and that's exactly what happened what we currently see is you know a retracement here on gold which i think will continue a bit lower i've got mapped out the zone down here and that's what i expect to see uh you know this pullback to end as soon as it does then i'm going to be entering a long trade here on gold now what i wanted to say though was that before price reached those levels up here we talked about a breakout of 1830 which is this resistance right here okay <clears throat> what happened next was we see this strong breakout right and a lot of newbie traders uh, started um you know entering long positions but those trades those emotional trades where you enter just because of fear of missing out and you think that you know this move will continue much higher uh, and you won't be able to get in so you start looking for entries right here the bad thing with those trades is that you know most of the time you will end up you know buying right up here or anywhere here I mean buying at the top so what happens then is you've got many hours days in fact where you know you're going to be around break even or you will be in a drawdown and this is just going to uh, you know affect bad um, on your emotions and your psychology so what you should know is that there's always going to be uh, you know another entry opportunity and you shouldn't take those risk decisions when you see such an impulse in fact when you see something like this it's much better to wait for the pullback because there's always going to be a pullback uh, before you enter okay so then we saw price continuing a bit higher and that's when uh, we started looking for a, a reaction of around the 1870 1880 level up here so we said that once price comes inside of this zone we're then going to wait for a pullback down to those levels again just like with the euro dollar if you're trading on the lower time frames i think right now is very good uh you know uh, selling opportunity here on gold drop down to a lower time frames and start looking for those selling opportunities However, if you are trading, if you are scalping the market, then I would suggest uh, look at, you know, one, maybe a couple of instruments, but not more than that. If you're trading like us, swing trading, uh, looking at the daily, the four hour time frames, the hourly charts, well, then uh, you can have uh, more instruments on your watch list. OK, we're not looking for those scalping positions, so we're not selling in this situation. All we're going to do is we have to wait for price to come inside of this zone and then we want to see that reversal, um, you know, whether it be a candlestick pattern, a chart pattern formation, double top, inverse head and shoulders, whatever it may be. Uh, like I said, in the next videos, we will see how this situation develops and, you know, I'm going to show you how you can trade those setups okay you've got to be patient and you've got to write for the right moment uh you should always look for uh, that risk to reward ratio um to be in your favor and that's when you want to um open a trade
okay so on friday again we're gonna go through uh those setups meanwhile we're looking at pound dollar where uh we've also got a trading opportunity uh pound aussie pound new zealand as well um so there's definitely some setups going on currently if you want to see all of our watch list if you want to receive our trading signals you know our daily analysis uh you know each and every day we're going through that watch list um and we share with our members what we're trading uh you know when we're trading it and so on then you know make sure to get in touch with us check out our free telegram channel and don't forget to go onto our website uh, and see what other courses and services we can give you okay comment down below what do you think of those setups are you gonna trade any of those uh, pairs gold euro dollar and i'll see you guys in the next video